Hey guys, Donnie Wright's out here. Bookmakers review college football season winding down. The bowl season starting to heat up and then we get the college football playoff. But before that, the 123rd edition of the Army-Navy game at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Army-Navy, 42 degrees, drizzly, wouldn't have it any other way. And how about this total for the game? Sitting at 33 across the board. Now, if you're taking a look at the side in this game, Army is favored anywhere between minus one and a half all the way down to pick them here as for Navy. So we'll see if we get some of those line movements here a little bit later in the week. But right now, a slight favorite at most outlets here for the Army squad. Now, if we're taking a look at this game overall, a couple keys to victory may be for that Naval football team. Let's take a look at the strength of the schedule. Coming into this one, Navy, 63rd in the country, Army. 98th. Take a look at some of the teams that these each individuals have played. ECU, Air Force, SMU, Houston, Cincinnati, Notre Dame, and UCF for Navy. A little bit better of a schedule than what I'm going to talk about here because the four games that are worth any note on the Army schedule, Air Force, Wake Forest, UTS, and Coastal Carolina, every one of those games was a loss. And how about this? The last game that both of these teams played, or should I say that Navy played, they actually beat UCF 17-14, to so pretty important there. Now, let's take a look at what makes some sense here. Forget about passing game. Either one of these teams are not going to throw the football. How do you defend the ground game here? Well, if we take a look at Army on the season, 5.2 yards per rush decimated on the ground. If we take a look at Navy, 3.1 yards on the ground here. Now, granted, some teams chose to attack those teams through the air, some teams more attacking on the ground, but statistics are statistics. Over 10 games into the season here, you're going to have a big disparity there of over two yards per rush, so that certainly is a benefit for Navy. And how about this final statistic here? We know watching over the past 20-some-odd years, Navy has absolutely dominated Army in this game. 18-5 to since 1999. This game, again, will be played in Philadelphia. We'll see if those weather conditions hold up and also a lot of ball control for both sides. But things are looking up right now for the Naval Academy. A few quick points there that make the most sense. Strength of schedule, stopping the run, and dominance in this series. All point to the Naval Academy. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review, and as always, good luck on those wagers.